Imagine you on vacation with six of your friends and due to alcohol poisoning, your friend dies and she's naked. Imagine dressing her up to cover it from the FBI. Next on Course TV. I kept trying, kept failing, game plan, kept changing, dreams fading, started hesitating, couldn't deal with the agitation, it only led to the act. A few things in this case has uh, transpired. There's definitely movement now on the case. The Mexican authorities are to subpoena the Cabo Six. Tomorrow there's supposed to be some big news on this case. So here's what we know. The best friend Khalil Cook and his mom has left their apartment for good. The mother actually had to stop working, I guess because of the threats or the attention that this case is getting. And I got that information through uh, the lawyer Nancy Gray who interviewed Shanquilla's mother. But there's also developments now on the case that after they killed Shanquilla or she was in a coma, we all seen the video where she's naked. These kids got her dressed to cover it up. Imagine doing that. How would you feel afterwards? Every time I think about it, it disgusts me. Why would you do that to your friend? Despite of whatever Shanquilla did, I mean, why would you do that? Put some, I guess, pink shorts on, like long shorts and a black t-shirt on her. And I guess when... The, the medical team got there. They're like, no, just, just let her die slow. Just let her die slow. I, I can't stop talking about this story. I can't stop stressing how disgusting and how sad this story is. To me, I think the person who told the medical team, you guys can leave, she's just alcohol poisoned. That person should get as much time as the one who gave the final blow. And of course, they all gonna start talking. None of these people have been to, I don't think none of them had did hard time yet in jail so when they gather up these crazy six everybody will start talking no matter what everybody will start talking you know what gets me really upset That these six are the most ghettoest six you could ever think of. Think of. You got to be real stupid to set up your friend in this manner and try to cover it the way you guys did. I ask the good Lord to have mercy on each and every one of you guys. But justice must be served. Karma is just around the corner. All six of you had the mindset of demons, satanic influenced. I rebuke all six of y'all. And I hope, 
I wish jail on nobody, I swear, I promise you. But I hope all six of you come to justice and come to justice fast. So tomorrow, Tuesday, the 27th, we should get some big news on this case. And I'm glad and thankful to God that the case started to move again. No matter what you guys tell me on my comment section, I, was, I will not stop shedding light on the Shanquilla Robinson case until justice is served. Go in peace. It's a try, fail, blood, sweat, and dumb tears. Don't give up, you will be all right.